right, YouTube land, we're back with a quick video. Uh, not doing a performance video, I just have to make a video real quick on this 98 VHP. Uh, I just, since I got one coming, I, you know, coming up right now, I'm doing one. I'm in the midst of doing one. Uh, doing the receive. I was in the midst of doing the receive on this one. This is a local guy's radio. Negative 110. Really nice. Turned out really nice. But, uh, anyway, uh, and I'm just going to say it, something that's on my mind. Guys, Facebook, and a lot of you don't mess, a lot of you guys don't mess with Facebook, but Facebook is absolutely the worst place to ask for advice. Okay? I seen a guy yesterday on there, and this just clicked when I was doing this video, had a perfect chance to show, um, made a post on one of the pages asking what, how much power should a 98 VHP produce? Well, I'm going to tell you right now, guys, I don't care what your hack techs say, you put your 98 VHP on a meter after you bought one brand new, and if it's doing 300 watts PEP power or more, then it's hacked. These are not 300 watt radios by no means. They are not 300 watt radios by no means. That's way too much. You're going to, I mean, literally, and they're talking about it, if, if, if something fails in that radio, and it's going to, if it's doing that kind of power, that is way too much power for the, one of these radios. And if it if it fails, I can pretty much guarantee you your warranty is going to be void uh, due to the tech that whoever hacked it up and turning crap wide open. Okay. Now, I'm making this video. Maybe hopefully I'm not going to solicit it to Facebook, but hopefully the guy that was, uh, I mean, on the Facebook pages, I'll probably post it on my business page. Hopefully maybe the guy that uh, was asking the questions will get to see it. But uh, uh, the maximum power that one of these will do, somewhere between 50 to 60 watts carrier, with it uh, all the way up, 200 to 240 watts PEP power, that's the max that you want out of one of these radios for it to be reliable, okay? Not just be reliable, but be clean, because it's got a built-in amp, and we go through the, you know, I've showed you how dirty these things are from the factory, I've showed you how dirty these things are from the factory, and, uh, you know, it takes a lot of work to get them cleaned up. Now, you're not going to get rid of the uh, second and third harmonic usually out of one of these, because it's quite a bit of power, so, you know, it's going to show the second 54 megahertz, uh, the 54 megahertz harmonic, and the 108, a little bit. Which you can see, that's 200 kilohertz right there, there's no IMD there. Uh, even under modulation there wouldn't be uh, you, you guys can watch my other videos for all that that we're not doing that right now we're not about that right now I'm just kind of showing you know, 150 megahertz we can show the second so you can see the second popping up there that's all that's going to be in there so uh, you know that's what we're going going by guys basically I just want to make this video because I hate to see people <laughs> Uh, getting screwed over like that and basically that guy's his radio is going to fail on him He'll probably have to have a major uh, realignment in the process Because uh, it wasn't set up properly. So Anyway guys, that's all I want to cover galaxy 98 VHPs are not 300 watt radios And if yours is doing 300 watts and you just bought it you probably want to send it somewhere reputable to get it uh, Taken care of because at 300 watts it ain't gonna it ain't gonna last and things will get hot enough to cook breakfast. So that's all we wanted to uh, bring up. We appreciate the support. Maybe that guy that uh, his radio is doing 300, maybe he'll get a load of this. And, you know, I'll be glad to, to uh, help him out, or maybe somebody else can help him out. Y'all be safe, be careful, be kind. We'll catch you next time. I'm gone. Bye.